Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Unit 4 of Universal Human Values, UHV. Before I start with UHV ka Unit 4, I just want you to make a connection that in the last video, we talked about Unit 3, which was all about harmony between human-human relationships and harmony in society. In this unit, we have moved ourselves to a higher perspective of harmony in existence. And when we talk about harmony in existence, we must talk about harmony in nature. What exactly is harmony in nature? The question arises. So harmony in nature means realizing that all living and non-living entities coexist in balance and mutual fulfillment. So there are two points in this. First is that living and non-living entities, is mito you have your biotic and abiotic components. Living entities include humans, animals, flora, fauna, your wildlife, aquatic wildlife, whatever. And your non-living entities include beaches and the mountains and soil and water and land resources and all of that. So both of these entities coexist and they coexist in one balance and two mutual fulfillment. So what we need to understand to achieve this holistic harmony in nature is that human beings are a part of the nature. We are not separate from it. Understanding this harmony helps us act responsibly to maintain ecological balance. Because if we think that we are a separate entity from nature, it becomes our role to just exploit the resources that nature provides us with. And it gives us no responsibility towards it. Nature in itself operates through balance, cycles and responsible relationships among all the entities. Now we talk about the entities, we are talking about the orders of the nature. We have four orders in nature and these four, all four of these orders are interconnected. And this interconnectedness in itself is a big part of nature. So let's talk about the orders first. We have first the physical order, which is soil, water, air, minerals, metals. And it basically provides the base for all life. The second order we have is bio-order, which includes plants and trees. And what it does is convert physical materials into food and oxygen for the higher orders, which are animal order and human order. So what is the third order, animal order? It includes animals and animals maintain ecological balance and depend on lower order. So animals depend on bio order and physical order. And last we have the human order, which we can say is the highest order in terms of evolution, not in terms of exploitation, right? So human orders uh, includes humans and humans have understanding and choice, which all the other three orders do not comprise of and even if animal order has some sort of understanding it is a very limited version of what we have so humans have understanding and choice and thus they also have the responsibility for maintaining harmony amongst all four orders of the nature now i talked about interconnectedness right so this interconnectedness gives rise to two parts which is self-regulation and mutual fulfillment. So what does self-regulation means? Self-regulation means that natural systems maintain balance automatically. The nature does not need us to maintain its balance. It just needs us to stop uh, messing things up, which cause it to go, you know, haywire and all imbalanced. So self-regulation is that natural systems maintain balance automatically without any external control. For example, uh, say let's take the water cycle. So here the water is evaporated and when the water goes up in the sky, it gets condensed and then 
it falls down in to, in you know ways of rainfall snowfall precipitation which then again replenishes the water bodies and the water table and everything so that is a self regulating cycle and that happens for all the cycles it uh, there's a carbon cycle there's an oxygen cycle there's a nitrogen cycle it happens for everything and then the second part of this is mutual fulfillment so what is mutual fulfillment it means that every entity supports others well being it means that every entity every species every organism has its role to play in the vast scheme of nature and it plays it beautifully to support the other entities for example we have bees pollinating the flowers while gathering nectar so both of these benefit hai na so when we talk about interconnectedness and self regulation we come to another important point which is recyclability recyclability ensures that nothing in nature goes to waste and everything is reused and regenerated and we have a uh, an example for each of these the next topic we have is existence as coexistence here we have two important topics units and space so first of all we need to realize that existence is coexistence everything that exists it exists with others and it exists for others so nothing is existing on its own and it does not nothing is there that does not serve a pur- purpose in the grand scheme of things you can say so the two important topics we have are units and space here uh, the difference is quite understandable units we have these are definite physical things that have boundaries for example atoms plants humans animals etc they are discrete they are countable they are limited in size and they undergo change they have birth grow decay and they exist in space space on the other hand is the medium where all the units exist and it is continuous it is all pervading it is omnipresent and it is formless infinite it does not have any boundaries it does not change and it provides the medium the substratum for all units to exist so in every unit in nature uh, there is a relation nothing exists in isolation from self to family to society to nature to existence to harmony everything expands outwards so once we understand this coexistence it ensures our happiness and sustainability at all levels of existence then we have the holistic perspective perception of the world and here we realize that a holistic perception means viewing all levels of existence as a connected harmonious whole and this is connected in a way that it is a web of relationships and not a hierarchy for example we cannot say that human beings are the top consumers and so they are on the top of the hierarchy no we are not this is a web of relationships and everybody is a food source for someone and everybody is consuming something each level that we have serves the next level and supports the next level so this is a individual to family to society to nature to existence wala support system that has been built and once we realize and recognize this interconnected web leads to sustainable living and universal happiness the next we have is natural acceptance of human values so i think natural acceptance is a very important topic that keeps popping up in each of your chapters this is also i think you studied quite a bit natural acceptance hoti kya hai ki natural acceptance is the innate sense that you have of what is right and what is wrong and what is fulfilling what is what brings you harmony and so on and so forth 
सो इसके तीन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट वी फोकस ऑन इन दिस चैप्टर आर इन इट इज इन इट यू आर बॉर्न विद इट इट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू लर्न इट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू अक्वायर यू आर जस्ट बॉर्न विद इट इन वेरियंट क्या होता है दैट इट डज नॉट चेंज विद टाइम इट डज नॉट चेंज विद प्लेस इट डज नॉट चेंज विद एनी काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन हर देश काल परिस्थिति में इट रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट यूनिवर्सल से वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज द सेम फॉर एवरी ह्यूमन रिगार्डलेस ऑफ कल्चर बैकग्राउंड कंट्री वेयर यू आर एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम हर किसी को सेम हारमनी सेम नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस जो पीस लाता है वो चाहिए सो नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस इज इन इट इट इज इन वेरियंट एंड इट इज यू नो यूनिवर्सल इसके एग्जाम्पल हो जाएंगे that everyone prefers truth over lies everyone prefers respect over insult for them for themselves uh, everyone prefers love over hatred so yes the, this is this then the next topic that we have in this chapter it is definitiveness of ethical human conduct so what do we understand by definitiveness of ethical human conduct sabse pehle we understand ki ethical conduct kya hota hai एथिकल कंडक्ट का मतलब होता है लिविंग विद ऑनेस्टी विद फेयरनेस विद हारमनी विद जस्टिस मतलब ये वाली सारी वैल्यूज जिनसे आप ना ही किसी का एडवांटेज ले रहे हो यू आर नॉट एक्सप्लॉयटिंग समवन और ना ही आपका कोई एडवांटेज ले रहा है तो एन एथिकल पर्सन हाउ वुड दिस पर्सन बिहेव एन एथिकल पर्सन विल एक्ट विद integrity and justice an ethical person will respect others an ethical person will most of all respect nature he will not waste resources as a lot of people nowadays do and an ethical person will work for mutual prosperity ab isme isi topic mein hame ek term pata chalti hai definitiveness to iska kya matlab hai to definitiveness ka matlab hai ऐसा कंडक्ट जो नेचुरली ही पीस और ट्रस्ट को इंश्योर कर रहा है तो डेफिनेटिवनेस का मतलब है कि आपको वो कंडक्ट करने के बाद कोई स्पेशल एफर्ट्स नहीं करने पड़ रहे हैं हारमनी एंड पीस एंड ट्रस्ट एंड जस्टिस इंश्योर करने के लिए जैसे ही आप वो राइट right बिहेवियर कर रहे हैं दीज आर द बाय प्रोडक्ट्स दैट मीन्स डेफिनेटिवनेस एंड इसको आप प्रोफेशनल कंटेक्स में भी लिख सकते हो कि प्रोफेशनल कंटेक्स में इससे क्रेडिबिलिटी आती है एंड इट इंश्योर्स सक्सेस दैट इज सस्टेनेबल इट प्रोवाइड्स जेनुअन फुलफिलमेंट एंड नॉट जस्ट यू नो द रैट रेस दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर नाउ अड इज रनिंग इन द नेक्स्ट थिंग वी हैव इज बेसिस फॉर ह्यूमनिस्टिक ऑर्डर तो ये क्या है इसमें दो चीजें हैं पहली बात ह्यूमनिस्टिक एजुकेशन है और ह्यूमनिस्टिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है so let us first talk about humanistic education humanistic education jo hoti hai it develops right understanding and values this is quite self explanatory aur karti kya hai it it helps students see their role in harmony aur harmony kis kis ke sath harmony with self harmony with others with family with society with nature and with existence तो ये हो गया हमारा और इसका गोल क्या होगा तो गोल हमारा इसका है कि नॉलेज जो हमें एजुकेशन से मिलेगी उस नॉलेज और राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग से इट विल लीड अस टू रिस्पॉन्सिबल लिविंग विच विल देन फर्दर लीड अस टू सस्टेनेबल हैप्पीनेस ठीक है फिर इसमें ह्यूमनिस्टिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पे अगर हम आ जाए तो ह्यूमनिस्टिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्या होता है दैट इट इज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच इज अ वैल्यू बेस्ड फ्रेमवर्क मतलब हमारा जैसे जो कंट्री का कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन होता है इट इज अ लॉ बेस्ड फ्रेमवर्क राइट जिसपे सारे लॉज ऑपरेट करते हैं ऐसे ही ह्यूमनिस्टिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जो होता है इट इज अ वैल्यू बेस्ड फ्रेमवर्क फॉर लिविंग एंड गवर्नेंस इट इंश्योर्स जस्टिस इट इंश्योर्स इक्वालिटी and freedom and it ensures mutual cooperation to iske kai sare levels hote hain obviously jaise individual level hai 
तो इस पर जो मिनिस्टर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन होगा एथिकल कंडक्ट कि मैं एज एन इंडिविजुअल एथिकली बिहेव करूँ एंड देन वी एट द लेवल ऑफ द फैमिली वी हैव ट्रस्ट एंड लव कि एक फैमिली में ट्रस्ट और लव हो एट द लेवल ऑफ सोसाइटी वी हैव जस्टिस एंड इक्वालिटी एंड एट द लेवल ऑफ नेचर वी हैव रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ रिसोर्स सो दैट इज आर ह्यूमनिस्टिक ऑर्डर एंड मूविंग ऑन अगर हमें एक इसका सम अप करना हो यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमनिस्टिक ऑर्डर को सो इट विल बी दैट अ वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर बेस्ड ऑन ह्यूमन वैल्यूज होता है ये एंड इट प्रोवाइड्स अस विद हार्मनी विद म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट एंड आल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इट विल अगर हम ये ह्यूमनिस्ट यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमनिस्टिक ऑर्डर फॉलो करें तो इट विल रिप्लेस रिप्लेसिस कॉम्पिटिशन विथ कोऑपरेशन and exploitation with enrichment so that is a really important point that you can write in your exam answers also we as human beings live with right understanding which leads us to continuous happiness and prosperity so in conclusion we just have to say that harmony in nature and existence is foundation for sustainable living humans must align with principles of coexistence which is saha astitva and humans must align with principles of self regulation and recyclability only then through right understanding and ethical living we can achieve universal harmony and happiness so thank you and i wish you all the best for your exams study hard